say, what are the words you use, and the goal behind this call, like the others, is for you to listen to what Andy says and copy it and then repeat it. All right, so Andy, if you could give us just high level, what is the importance of driving depth? What does driving depth mean uh, for the listeners? Well, you, you know, there's two big things we do. It's called sell and recruit, right? Depth is building. Okay, so the reason you want to build or have a hierarchy is because you don't want to have only your production as your means of money. In other words, you've got to have other people working so that you get a little bit of money from a bunch of people. And, and, and so personal production is not getting money from other people. Driving wit or creating wit is not getting production. Why do we know that? Because I've been hiring now for 27 years of my life. One person I have found to become successful selling. One. Everybody else came from depth. Depth is where the gold is. Depth is where the premium is. That's where the results come from is depth, Chris. So talk to him a second about the importance of residual income. Why is residual income important in America? <laughs> That's almost... <laughs> Uh, do you want you to have to do it always? What if you get sick? What if you want to go Africa for a month? What if you want to travel around the world? What if you get what if you get what if you get a back hurt and you can't drive? We got disability insurance. How much insurance you get? Uh-uh. Mm -mm. We need money coming in when we're not performing. It's very important. It's more important than that, really, but that's the best I can do for now. All right. So we're going to uh, start with, so Lucera Diaz works in the office. Let me ask you this. You don't want to have just your money coming in, do no, you? No, I don't want to have just my money coming in. Okay. All right. All right. So we're going to have Lucera Diaz. You just hired her in WIT, and then you're talking to her about driving depth. So this is your brand new person. Uh, she was licensed when you found her, and then she responded to your ZipRecruiter ad. You hired her in WIT. Now you're going to start driving debt to Lucero. What do you say to Lucero? Well, I'm just going to tell you this. So while you're talking, I started looking at her and I said, I like that person. I like her. This is big. Nobody going to let you drive debt if you don't like them. Mm -hmm. Hey, if, if you like somebody, there's no guarantee they're going to let you drive debt. But if you don't like them, it's very unlikely. They're going to let you drive debt. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So how do you convey to them that you like them? Well, the first thing you do is you listen with intent, intent to attract. And you also listen with enthusiasm. You listen with conviction. Does that make sense? So if I said, Lucero, first I'm going to ask her questions. It's, we call, they, Jeff Wright gets all into this empathy thing. I go, you got to get them like you. Now, I'm going to tell you this. If I don't like people, I don't try hard to get them like me. But if I like them, then I try hard to get them like me. I don't want to be a one-way street. And then I'm going to nudge my way in. You listen with enthusiasm. Look, I'm going to do a scan. Look, fingernails, eyes, <laughs> NC State jacket right there. I'm like, hey, NC State, what if she went to NC State? What if she's connected to the university or whatever? What's your last name? Diaz. 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 Now, um, so you see, you see all the options I've got to go? Mm-hmm. I could go all that direction. She's also young. I'm gonna look. I'm, gonna, I'm trying. To, I can't see the wedding band, so I don't know if she's married. Does that make sense? But I can usually see that and say, hey, you know. So not no married, no married. No. Um. So I, I'm just I'm just gonna mess around asking questions. So to clarify, let's say Lucera lives on the other side of the country, 
Mm -hmm. And you hired her not in California. I can't see her. Nevada. So I can't see her. Yeah, so you just start asking. Yeah, I'd say so. Tell, tell me, tell me. Hey, give me, give me a high level. Okay. Who, who are you? So. Hey, by the way, be positive about yourself. Yeah. See, I mean, it doesn't hurt to tell them that. Be positive. Don't tell me the bad stuff. <laughs> Act like it's an interview. <laughs> so I'm 26 years old. I'm originally oh. from Mexico, but I lived here in Burlington pretty much my whoa, life. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Born Mexico? Born in Mexico. Okay. Yeah. Um, See how I listened mm -hmm. and clarified. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna, keep, I'm gonna quit interrupting because really I should do it as opposed to teaching it. Yeah. Um, I'm single, no kids. I've got th two younger siblings, um, and I work at the Alliance. <laughs> I was just thinking. If you, my, my wife, if you tell her you're single and you want to date somebody, she will damn gum start thinking. <laughs> That's the way she loves doing that. But see, you see how, I, I'm, I'm, I, doing I don't want to do too much teaching while I'm doing it. I, I'm afraid you won't know what I'm doing. I think the teaching's good. If that's an authentic statement. You with me? It also could cause a problem. The risk of authenticity is embarrassment. Because she, she could just come right at me and go, let me tell you something. I, I called again on this talk talking about business. Now you're talking about your mama. I said, well, my mama's crazy as hell. She is. She trying to get you a date. And she loves you, by the way. You see what I'm saying? The reason she loves her because she, she's the one sold her med, med sup, med advantage or whatever. She went over there and did some errands. But does that make sense? See how authentic the conversation is? So now, not only do I like her, she's heard me say that about four times, my mama likes her. You see what I'm saying? And listening to her. So we're going to talk about your friends. You go to high school around here? Yes. Where? Cummings High School. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I went to Western. Um, so have you talked to any of those people? about what we do? Not yet. And you're 26? Yeah. Was you like, what did you do there? Were you in like home ec or, hey, Spanish club? <laughs> 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 I'm old, that's what we did. I always joined the Spanish club. <laughs> uh, I played soccer and volleyball. Athlete? Mm -hmm. uh, what position, soccer? Defense. And well, fullback, as you call them, fullbacks or centers. Center. I can't remember the positions. Didn't do bad. Um, softball position. Uh, volleyball. Volleyball. Good. No, no offense to softball players. But th th all these are authentic feelings. You know what I mean? Like, good. Because yeah. I would have to say, are you still playing softball? <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, um, volleyball. Uh, I played in the back. Mm. I only played for one semester, and I didn't like it. And community college, yes. right? Um, police officer stuff. Criminal justice. Right. You want to be an attorney or something? Okay. So if I said, "Who's okay?" Two different thoughts. Okay. First of all, we got to get you selling more. Yeah. No offense, but you need to be selling more. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Let's talk about building a business. Okay. There are people that most likely will do it, people that will most likely not do it, and then there's people that ought to do it. You with me? Yeah. And I wouldn't do that always the same way, but I'm real serious here because she ain't never called her list. She works here, and nobody's got her to do it for her, and I'm getting ready to try to do it. So now this is what makes it hard when I start coaching and I'm really trying to do something. Yeah. My, you know, my effect ain't as... You know what I'm saying? I just saying this ain't as cool with it. You know, it's a little bit jerky. How we doing? Doing good. Okay. Do you remember any names of people from high school? Yes. You do. Um, who you think was really like maybe went on to be governor or high level? In other words, they most likely that could do this. Who's kind of famous or done well? His Sharp, Justin Sharp. Trip Sharp. Yeah. All right. Trip. Yeah, I got that name mixed up because of the other guy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, Trip. I know. No, don't say him. Oh. Definitely. Tell me somebody real. Oh. Um, I ain't faking. I'm serious about okay. this thing. Uh, Hannah. Hannah. What's Hannah's last name? Escarcega. 
Huh? It's Carsega. Did you see how I did that? <laughs> Mic drop. You see what I'm saying? I just got the most sharpest, best, talented person she knows, and nobody's ever done it before. Uh -huh. Right? Does that make sense? I love driving down, baby. <laughs> What was that last name again? S. Carcega. E. S. C. A. R. C. E. G. A. Okay. Do you have your, her name in your phone? I do. Do you talk to her regularly? I do. What about? She's my best friend. And we've not tried to recruit her in this business? She actually works here. She did or does? She does. Is she upstairs? Yeah. But does she get her license? No. I did talk to her about it. Well, text her and say, what are you doing? Text her and say, what are you doing? Okay. You see what I'm saying? Right. See how I'm on this? I can role play with you and pretend like you're Hannah Garcia in Skonskinskisa, right? But you're not, right? But see, see how that quick it went? See what she's doing. Boom, boom. You know, you've seen me do this before. Yeah. You know, and hey, me, here's another thing. Watch this. She's got this little girl sitting beside her desk, or somebody does. I don't know if it was you. You know what I'm talking about? And I went walking up, dropped down my knees, started talking to her, and then she gave us that guy's name, and then he came in here. Yeah. Was that your desk? Yes. Remember that? Yep. So I'm not upset that that girl got fired up and then gave us another guy, and it never went anywhere. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, let's call that guy again and see if, what happened to him. He fell off the face of earth, right? He they get arrested or buried or dead. We need to call after him again. See how this is working? Mm -hmm. You see how this is working? This is what people don't do. You've got to be Urkel. You've got to think the next time I try, pay dirt. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Every single time. So, you remember his name? Kevin. Kevin. Text him and say, Lucero here. What's been going on? Albright's asking me about you. So this is what you mean by driving depth. I'm driving you're depth, pushing, buddy. You're I just got two texts. I just got two texts from my downline. I didn't have to do it. I'm just sitting here talking. That's why my wife said, you work all the time. I said, all I do is talk. But I get her to work. I just got two texts for free. Well, not really. What did you pay in? I paid in kindness and compliments, and she got to talk about herself. It's all about you. It's all about them. That's payment. Unless you unless you dumb enough, you don't ask for payment for services. I'll break your page. Does that make sense? We get some text. Right, I'm gonna move on. I'm gonna start driving depth with you, getting lunch up in here. So in each situation, you're going to ask because that's your payment. You're gonna drive depth because I ain't that's being payment. nice for nothing. That's how you get paid. I ain't been nice for nothing. Now, now people say, like, you're supposed to be just be nice for nothing. Oh, I am if I'm at the grocery store. Well, that's right. I'm going to try to recruit her, too. <laughs> what about the teller? I'm going to try to recruit him, too. If you don't recruit him, what are you going to do? I'm going to drive depth. Gonna, and then let me tell you something. I'm going to break all ties if he does not reciprocate. I'm going to be gone. Does that make sense? Until I come back again, then I'm going to be his best friend. Oh, so Joe, hey, man, oh, man when are you going to do the insurance thing? Like I've been working with this guy that's doing my ADT stuff. Every time he comes over, I talk to him, I said, what the hell, what was wrong? He finally just, he finally confided in me. He said, come here, come here. I said, what? He said, ah, I got some bad stuff in my background. I said, what'd you do? He told me, I said, is that it? He said, uh-uh. <laughs> he told me next one, I said, yeah, you ain't getting a license. I said, what about your wife? He said, ah, she got some stuff too. I said, how about your mother-in-law? He said, that's what I'm thinking. He said, my mother-in-law, she's okay. <laughs> and so we're working on her now. I got Paul Roberts working on her. But you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I've just been working and working and working and finally confided in me. He's like, I couldn't get my license. <laughs> I said, but you look good. And he told me where he, you know, preaches now and changes lives. But does that make sense? Yeah. So, so let's say it was him. Let's say I got a friend. So here, here's what I'd do. I'd say text him. And he says, hey, I'm just hanging out with my girlfriend or whatever. You got a girlfriend? You want one? Because my mama. She will. <laughs> my mama will. <laughs> um, it seemed like you had a girlfriend. Do you have a girlfriend up in Montana or New York or something? No. 
No? No. No? Even My bad. I was 18. Huh? 18, 19 I did. No, okay. Yeah. All right. Taking a little sabbatical, huh? It's my time now. A little sabbatical. Yeah. 26 to 18. Whew. Okay. All right. But you see, it's authentic conversation. Um, have you got your license yet? Yeah. Life have you sold anything? Life and health, yeah. Sold one last weekend. How many appointments are you booking a week? This is depth. This is driving depth. So he's your guy, right? Right. Does that make sense? Yes. Wherever he is... I'm going to try to nudge him further. Okay, so we always say driving depth is when you hire that person. You're saying driving depth is any conversation. Every damn thing. Pushing depth. Everything. So driving depth also means going down through the Well, you know what I'm going to do. You know what I'm going to do is right, I'm going to talk to him in sales, deep. and then I'm going to try to get another layer deep. All bread ain't stopping too deep, man. You can't plant no watermelons one half inch deep. But so you driving down, down in there. It's not just hiring the people. It is working the people. That's where the work is. Yeah. That's where get, people get lazy. They say things like, well, talk to him about his sales. Talk to him about his recruiting. That's called delegating depth, which leads to death. Mm. Delegating depth leads to death. Your business will dry up. You got, you got roots down in the ground. Roots start drying up. Next thing you know, you ain't got no root system. You fall over dead. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. How do you think? Does this make sense? Does this help? Yeah. I mean, this is a short version. I mean, this is, this is on and on hours. you got to watch me, man. I will make a connection with somebody, and then I'll be like, she, she's known you for, how long you known him? A month or two. I know stuff about you she don't know already. Don't know? Yeah. Yeah. People say, yeah, but it takes a while to get to know him. <laughs> you see how quickly? But see, what happens is, if this is one-on-one, -on -one, now me and you have a secret that she don't know about. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You say, well, you're not going to tell her? Um, it's your business. You're going to tell her, you tell her. But if she's in front of me, now I found out before she found out. See how I'm driving depth? Mm -hmm. That's called me. Trust. huh? You're building trust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Trust and connection, and it's all about him. It went from all about you to all about him. My focus on you, gone. You with me? My focus here. Whoever you focus, wherever you focus is where it's going to grow. And if he focuses at the top of the system, it'll grow up there, but that don't help you. you got to go down here. And as I'm going down, if, if, if it turns out me and him have a lot of things in common, we call that a firewall. Mm -hmm. That's when he starts to get wide and I get starting wide. He's kind of got some, maybe got some talent. Usually it happens three or four or six deep. Sometimes it's 12 deep before you forget a firewall. A lot of times it'll go, um, Lucero has Bob, Byer hires Tim, Tim hires Jerry, Jerry has Margaret, Margaret hires Susan, and then all of a sudden, Timmy. And then Timmy gets wide as a fat baby's butt. He starts hiring people and selling. You with me? But, but that's where you're gonna find the gold is deep. And the deeper it is, the more chance you'll find water. Think about a root system. The, the deeper the root system is, there's a more chance you're going to find water. Make sense? And nutrients. The deeper it is, the more nutrients can come into the tree. The deeper the root system, think about that. We've done it at the beach. When we build a house at the beach, the, the, the bigger house you want to build, the more pylons you got to drive in the ground. And the worse the sand is, the deeper you got to be, dr drive. If you don't rock, you don't have to drive that much, you know, you got a system, right? But you do have to have a good balance if it's on the rock. I just, I like the way all the, all the earth sciences and mechanics are real, like it, it applies. Mm -hmm. So let's say, so Lucera. I thought I had a time frame. You do. We're almost out, so we're going to jump. Okay. To, let's say Lucera has trip. You talked to him a little bit about sales. Let's say Lucera went to high school with Brandon. She sends a text, said, what are you doing? She says, hang out with a girlfriend. What did the girl say? Did she answer back? She did. Say, she says she is upstairs. Say, come down to the, come, come down to the CEO's office. You're in big, no. <laughs> come down to the CEO's office. He wants to say, hey. But, but see, you see, I'm working it. She ain't got her license yet. I'm going to get her in her license class. You know? Makes sense. It's not complicated. It's not.
But you're going to, Andy, one person's not going to make a difference. Not at the way you're doing it. You know why? Because you think Hannah's the answer. I think the person that Hannah knows is the answer. But I can't get this button undone till I get this button undone. Make sense? We start with one, then we'll go to the next, then we'll go to the next, then we'll go to the next. Right. And you'll never know when you're going to get momentum and think, <laughs> you're hiring people like crazy, have an agency manager underneath you. So you're going to call Brandon, who is, let's say he's from high school, let's say he's selling cars or phones or whatever, and it's on her list. He texts back, said, yeah, I'm available. Do you call on Lucero's phone or do you it, call well, on your phone? I would say it depends. I, I, I'm trying to work it here. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it's going to go with him. You know, we don't know how it's going to go with Hannah. She answered back. She didn't say none of your business. <laughs> she didn't say I'm busy. She said I'm blah, blah, blah. I don't know. Tell me what you said to her and what she said back. I said, what are you doing? Are you upstairs? She said, yeah, I am. Why? And then you said, so come down said, here. Come down to Andy's office. Yeah, will you make sure the door's open so we can get her in? Or right, well, I guess they're listening. They will know to get her in, right? Yes. Okay, well, you can at least open that door. Okay, so, so that's how it's going with that one, mm -hmm. right? So it just depends on how they respond. Um, so we can see how she responds. And then, but see, it, it's going to be authentic when she comes in here, you know? And then she could say, you put me on the spot. She could cry. <laughs> she could get mad. She could say, thank you for caring. I don't know how it's going to go. Hey, I, I'm, the, I'm, the, I'm the surgeon, baby. I cut open. I don't tell you what's in there. Does that make sense? <gasps> Ooh. <laughs> Zip it. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, so if he, you know, I mean, you know, it's just, I mean, like, text him, you, you open the business. Let's say, let's say she says, are you open to talk business for a minute? And she says, yeah. She says, pick up from 336. So I want his number. So I get, tell him to pick up from 336. So then I just dial him up. Hey, Lance, all right here. I, I love girl Lucero. She's done a hell of a job with us. Or if I called up Hannah, she's done a hell of a job with us. But I ask her who's the sharpest, most likely person. Now, the next person might be the second sharpest. I probably, I could tell them they're the second sharpest. I'll probably say the sharpest. And the reason I justify that, because I've already talked to the sharpest, now I'm talking to the sharpest. You know what I'm saying? And then, and then if I said, tell me somebody you think's just lunatic and never do this. And I call them up and say, hey, I hear you're fun. I hear you're a lot of fun. You know, I'm going to try to get their good side, their good angle. And then, um, you know, start, try to, try to make him like me. Mm -hmm. You know, here you're killing it in sales with cars, car sales. Here you're number one in sales. What do you sell the most? What do you make a car? You, you, is, is you supporting yourself or you got a family? Did your family get mad because you work a lot of hours? You know, I'm trying to work an angle that I can get him to, you know, out of that car job in with us. I'm trying to figure out my angle. What does he like about car sales? We got that. What does he hate about cars? You don't have to do that here. Now, you say, what if everything he describes you is a terrible fit with y'all? Would you lie and twist it? No, I just tell him I just meet him. I don't think it's a fit. But uh, you never know. If you, someday, or if you know, you know anybody that might be a fit. Don't sound like a good fit for you. You know anybody that might be a fit. See? I had to unbutton that button before I get to the next button. I had to get this level before I get to the next level. And then I go, hey, do you know Timmy? Because he's recommending. Come in. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Good. I didn't recognize your name because I didn't know your last name. Escarcega. Escarcega. That's a cool last name. It is. It's unique. It's what? Unique. Stay here. We're talking to you, please. Please. <laughs> How long have you been here? Uh, let's see, a little bit over three years. Maybe over three years. Three years? I've been jumping to department, department. Tell me where you've been. Where's the jobs? Okay, so President's Club and then mark, um, telemarketing, CCLs, and now I'm upstairs. So when you went telemarketing, did you go over to the other building? Yeah, Maple. Did you like it over there? Yeah, it was nice. You like it over here? I love it here. Um, she, I said, who's the smartest, best, mm -hmm. most qualified, most like, look, I'm not kidding. See, under most. And then I was like, dumb, I ain't going to do it. And then I was like, crazy. And so she put you, and then I was like, what's she doing? She's like, she works here. I was like, oh God. All right, text her. So anyway. I'm here. <laughs> What's been your favorite job? Um, so far, I think President's Club is, is uh, 
one of my favorite jobs just because I got to speak to agents more. Mm -hmm. And then right now I got back to speaking to agents, so I like it as well. Mm. And now, um, are y'all same age or are you younger or older than her? A couple of months older. A couple months older. You went to Cummings also? Yes. Was you born here or born in Mexico? I was born here. Born here. Parents? Born uh, here? No, Mexico. Born in Mexico. So that makes you, how do you say it? First generation? You'd be first genuine. Yes. First, first generation. generation. First generation, genuine. I don't know if I'm right. I'm asking. <laughs> yes, I'm first generation here. Okay. And what would you be? I don't know. I'd go to the M, M, uh, a legal, a, a accurately, I don't know how you, legal, legal immigrant. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm an immigrant. I'm a legal immigrant. You would say legal because all these people are all the hubbub going on. Illegal immigrant. You go, I'm a legal immigrant. Don't start your mess. <laughs> right? I mean, I just, you know what I mean? I mean, my family's, um, you know, generation here, Burlington, Burlington, and then somebody was looking back and we were Pittsburgh. I was like, hmm. I thought I was a southerner. <laughs> <laughs> you know? And then you keep going back and it's from Austria. Okay. Listen to the way I talk. I am not Austrian. <laughs> but yeah, there are prank people who are like, like y'all ain't from here. Like, I ain't neither. <laughs> you know? Um, but you know, here we go again. People like people that like them and people that are like them. Does that make sense? I'll tell you something else similar about me and you. I've been doing all kinds of jobs here. <laughs> a little bit of everything? Yeah, a little bit of everything. And my favorite thing is President's Club, too. Yeah. But I missed this thing we had called Black Card, and if we get this thing to come back, this thing's going to be exciting. That's right. <laughs> but you see, you see how it, this is the way it goes. So, so I got a question for you. Yeah. I'm not trying to put you on the spot, but I am putting you on the spot. What's up with you getting your license? We think you ought to get your license. We think you're smart. We think you can make money. We think you can save money. We think you can help your family. We think it'll improve your career. It'll, it'll dress up your resume. You'll make our whole team be more, more, more intelligent. But if you join it, it'll help the IQ average go up and a lot of other things. So will you? Yeah. Okay, there you go. <laughs> See how that works? See how that works? Yeah. Just like that. Just like that. And so let me ask you, same question. Other than her, and preferably somebody don't work here, that somebody from high school that you know that would be really good at this, really at anything. Matter of fact, she's already running for city council. She's already a doctor. She's already an engineer. Who do you know from Cummings that did pretty good that you think would be really good at this? I cannot think of anybody on the spot, but if Can I go Can you think down, of anybody that would be terrible at this because they're just like a drug addict and they wouldn't yeah. be good? Who? A lot of people. Just give me go. one. Is, is the camera on? <laughs> What's she say? Is, is the, the camera, camera on? on? Is the camera on? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, the camera's on. Just give me their first name. Okay. Um, I'll give you one of mine. Well, I'll just tell you. No, I'll just say his first name, Kirk. Kirk. Yeah, I almost say his last name. Actually, right, I have name. someone who's really good. Miriam. Okay, see, I didn't really want to know the ones that ain't going to do it. But she damn came up with Miriam. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> While we're joking around, we got Miriam. What's Miriam's last name? Lopez. Lopez. So, now this is called Delegating Depth and this will get you death. You call Miriam. That's how you, that's how you, that's how you get her to quit, is you get her calling death. Does that make sense? Because I'm a lazy CEO, lazy president, because I make millions, so I don't need to make that phone call. That's how you lose your company, your company you lose your business. You got to drive depth. Does that make sense? To, to clarify, you're saying... In other words, I should call Miriam, not if get... Pass it off, it's if I pass it off, it's just not good. You're just going to lose it all. It'll okay. shrivel back up. So. You with me? But the easy thing is just tell her to call him. Now watch this. Let's say I've got 16 legs, or three legs, smoking, right? And this is, I'm, this is one of my other legs. I don't have to call that. But let's say 
when she's making that phone call, I'm going to be coaching Clay on how to sell. <laughs> that is not a good trade. If, I'm, if he's got a list and he's 27 years old and he's this, that, and a cup of coffee, and I've got to call his list, and he's standing right here and I'm working on him next, you call Miriam, see how you do, go over there and do that, and then I'll start calling his list. In other words, whatever I delegate, if I delegate depth, I better damn be doing some other depth driving. So driving depth is the highest ROI that you can get anything, including sales? It's, well, there's sales and there's width and there's depth. There's the three things. Mm -hmm. Coaching, not so much. And that's what a lot of our guys do. They're okay. coaches, both. And grow you spiritually and mentally and show you how to sell. I try to get some of my damn nerves. You're so damn smart, you're no good. You with me? They know everything about the alliance except how to drive depth and put in width. Oh, and sell. I love these husbands and not on the team or wives on the team. You know, I'm 100% in. What do you do? I coach the people. <laughs> I'm a personal coach. Yeah, except for nobody's paying you. You see what I'm saying? Selling, recruiting, or building. And this is depth. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? I mean, is that yep. like this is like that's like that's why we used to do. We still do phone time, and then people tricked us. They'd be on the phone talking to their cousin, <laughs> you know, for an hour, you know, and their phone time looked good. Or they talking to an agent, coaching them. What we should do is how many hours are they on the phone talking to new people? How many new buttholes did you talk to this week? And I always say buttholes just because it's emotional, but it's a new person. I could say how many set of eyeballs did you speak to? Or how many, you know what I mean? It's just the way people get people thinking. How many rear, how many buttholes did you talk to this week? You know what I mean? Not, you know, it's not trying to mean they're mean people. It's just trying to get people imagination. So I mean, how many humans did you talk to this week? How many new humans? How deep in depth did you get in humans? Let me ask you a question to follow up. So let's say Lucero hires Hannah, and then Hannah hires Miriam. Miriam. When do you, like how does Lucero get good at sales? Is it you're talking to her while you're talking to Miriam? Where I'll be like, all right, listen. You see how this works? Yeah. Quit screwing around. You can do this. Right? And then next week I'm with her, or the next day I'm with her. How'd you do? Well, I got three more people interested. <laughs> Good, let's call them. If she comes back, so I didn't talk to nobody, I'd be like, mm! Do you want to get rich? How many appointments you got booked? Eight? All right, good. Good job. Hey, high five. Well, you with me? Selling, recruiting, driving depth. What's going on with Mary? Is she getting class yet? Ain't called her yet. Mm. Disappointment in people. You with me? Excited about people. I use that. Why? Because uh, people like it. I always tell my wife, when you want me to get some, when you want to get me to do something, let me tell you how to do it. Recognition, excitement, enthusiasm toward me. I'll do it. I got up dog poop the other day. She was giving me a clapping and half fired. I was like, I'm gonna do it again. <laughs> <laughs> tomorrow. So, but normally I ain't never going to do it, but she was so fired up. I was like, God, if I th that's all it takes, I'm, <laughs> I'm going to do it, you know? All right, so let me, let but you me see what I'm saying? Point. Like, oh, all you want me to do is book 10 appointments and you love me? Yeah. But see, that's what people, they're, they're, they're not, um, they don't let people know what that makes them happy. They get happier because of something else. Does that make sense? Like, they brought you coffee or yes sir or price. I, bring me premium. Bring me depth. Bring me width. Does that make sense? Like, I'm a, I'm a real complicated. Does that make sense? People, oh, I, I, I like talking to him. He likes talking about football, and I'm a football person. I, in other words, just because you like NC State, unless you produce a premium. I'm sorry. I'm trying to understand. So let's say. Let's I'm say trying to explain it. I know. I'm, we'll get there. So let's say you. You hire Lucera, Lucera hired Hannah. Come in just a little bit so we can hear you. Hannah's see. talking to, you're talking to Miriam, but okay. then you call Lucera back. Let's say Lucera only booked two appointments. Are you dealing with that? Are you going on driving depth? Are you doing it at the same time? Well, it, you know, that, that's what people try to trick me with that. Mm -hmm. Which one of three? And I go, all three. I tell you what I need for you to quit doing is playing on a video game. Mm -hmm. I tell you what you need to quit doing is watching Law & Order. I tell you what you quit smoking that daggum wacky weed. You see what I'm saying? In other words, 
work on her sales and work on her depth. And you okay, can't, you can't, so you can't, you can't, you can't, you don't, don't try to cut frogs hair twice. What you were saying earlier too, too is thin. when they're, they're trying to coach instead of driving depth. Yeah. So they're not driving depth. You're not saying you shouldn't deal with her not having sales. No, no, no. We, we should deal with her not having okay. sales. I just wanted to click. But I'm, you, I'm talking about where they sit there and they go like, I might get a phone call tonight. I got a lot of agents. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, what are you going to do while you're waiting? So you're saying the coaching is more driving depth and driving sales. It's you being aggressive. I tell you what, I have to, I'm going to coach her a little bit of sales right now. Can I talk to you about sales? Yeah. All right. I'm coaching, okay, I'm coaching her right now. So you you're ready? coaching your existing you ready? people by your... First of all, if you make a lot of phone calls, you're more likely to book a lot of appointments. See how I'm coaching her? Mm -hmm. I'm coaching her by coaching her. I think you can outsell her. And she's going, oh, we got the old eyebrow raise. You see that? Mm -hmm. You see that? You know how much you get paid per policy? How much? About $500 Ooh. each policy. I better get on my... What's day. your daddy do? What's your father do? Um, He's actually retired. What did he do? He was... He worked at a Honda's factory. No. uh Mm-hmm. Hey, gum, I heard they got a good retirement package over there. They do. They do. They found me some safe money. <laughs> found me some safe money. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's somewhere. Did he trust them to keep handling it, or you have any idea what he did with it? I do not. But see how I did that? Do you tr did he trust them to keep handling it? Do you know what he did with it? What's going to happen is, it's a thing called a... RMD, required minimum distribution. He's going to have to start taking his money out of that that retirement account at some time. See how I'm coaching her? Mm -hmm. When he does, he's going to get taxed. There's a way to stretch that money and keep from getting taxed. For real. Chris, Chris Norris can tell you. I can tell you, but I had to study up on it. But you, you, you know what I'm talking about? It's you, you start taking it out and you can buy an IUL and it's, it's pretty tricky and it's really a way to avoid giving the government all your dad got money. Try to put it into your family is what you're trying to do. Um, I have a question. Yeah. So you drove depth with Lucero, your current agent, mm -hmm. found Hannah. How quick are you driving depth with her once you got her on board? I already got Miriam, buddy. How quick so right, is that? I mean, I'm saying like right as soon as you get her on, you're driving that depth. Did you have a stopwatch on me? That's the way I played basketball when I was your age too. I smoke your ass. Next thing you do, you see nothing but tail lights. <laughs> <laughs> but this you can do when you're old, because it don't tire any. It don't really require any physical talent or skill. The fatter you are and balder you are, less less scared they are of you. So crazy. <laughs> Am I crazy? And smoke right by him. Next thing you know, I'm talking to her. Went right by her. She ain't even seen it coming. Does that make sense? Like how fast I, the how fast the girlfriend thing. Just like that. You know? Okay, and by the way, I already found safe money. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's right. Teaching her how to sell. That's what we call safe money. Did you know that his money in retirement in um, Honda was what we call safe money? No. See what I'm saying? She didn't know what safe money. She'd been here three years, walk around President's Club, don't know that money in a retirement account that they left the company is safe money. Because she would ask her dad if he found any safe money. He wouldn't know what the hell she's talking about. He'd be like, Dad, Honda, Bo. Now what? Did you see my eyes light up when she said Honda? You know why? Because they got a good paying program with good retirement program. If she said, Lori, Laura, I would have said, good money in that tobacco pony. <laughs> Daddy got her to go retirement going on right there. Laura, Laura. You know who Laura, Laura is? It's a tobacco manufacturing company. It pays good. Laboratory Corporation of America. How long have you been there? <laughs> Anytime it's a big brand name company, my eyes light up because I'm thinking there's money. Does that make sense?
That's why I said, what'd your daddy do? You say, well, you just want to know what kind of heritage she's got and if she's got an upbringing. Well, I, I'm, I can go any direction I choose. I got head in my brains in my head and feet in my shoes. I can go the direction I choose. That's um, Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss. Dr. Hill. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is this making sense? That's how quick I did it. Watch this. You want me to go? You want me to go? It's kind of hard for me to go under Marion without calling her up. You got her number on your phone? I do not. I have her on Facebook. That's what I'm talking about. Do you know what kind of work she does? Um, she is. She actually does sales. For who? This company. See how? See how I got here? Boom, boom, boom. This is legit money. Who does she work for? Um, I'm not sure of the company, but she's like, sell. it's like Herbalife. Zeal. Zeal, yeah. Z-E-A-L. She went to college for Elon, and she actually lost her, I think, scholarship. degree. Scholarship. I'm not sure. Cause of what? DUI. She, yeah, she got a full scholarship. What kind of, what, athlete or academic? No, um, academic. She was going for... Is she full-time Herbalife or Zeal? I believe so. Okay, so the odds are she still has a job somewhere, and Herbalife's what she's doing on the side. Our company is like Herbalife or Zeal. Mm -hmm. But when you sell a package of Zeal, you make $17. When you sell a policy with us, you make 500 Yeah, so she's definitely going to like it. Okay. Huh? Well, we don't know about that because they're really good at brainwashing over there. Mm. Has she tried to get you in Zeal? No. Well, they're not doing too good brainwashing. <laughs> Okay, but see how this is authentic? Yeah. Okay? So watch this. Here you get 500 With Zeal you get $17. But they're tricky with your head. I'm surprised that she ain't trying. Matter of fact, that's an insult that she ain't trying to recruit you. That is. She, think, she don't think I would be good? <laughs> see, I think she'd be good. She thinks she'd be good. So we're separating her from little Miss Miriam. <laughs> You see what I'm saying? Like it's pulling her closer to me and her, closer to me, because by the way, I know stuff that I don't think she knows. And I found it. She come in my ear before her ear. So it puts her and me and her closer. Secrets builds bonds. Communication builds bonds. That makes sense. And it's all been about her, right? I'm going to mix in some stuff about me. I got my mama in there. But you have to bring that, if, if you start feeling, if it starts feeling awkward, it's because it's too much about her. You know my daughter's 22? I no, my either. son's 22. Yeah. And Haley's 25. How old are you? 26. So you're about 26 because you're three months younger. See, so now attention comes down. Does that make sense? If you tell them all about you and nothing about them, terrible tension. All about them, all about you, terrible tension. So what you want to do is you want to keep it like about them and about you. Maybe. Yeah. It depends on the person. If they really are scared of you and really nervous, you need to go, sir. But if they trust you, you don't have to tell them much. Does that make sense? Yes. So like with her, you know, she knows me and who I am and her and you know, so it's been like, had to, but then I was like, I got to think about it, so I better give her a little bit about me. Does that make sense? This is what I do. This is how I got all the money. I think the biggest takeaway is every conversation with you is selling, recruiting, and building. Every single you found sales, with recruiting, in depth recruiting. I told you before, I don't have many interests. You got those three. Everybody's got more. Everybody's got so many interests. And I'm gonna tell you something. I ain't interested in NC State. I ain't, I'm not interested in Wolfpack. When I'm I'm doing this, I'm do, when I'm doing this, I'm doing this. And when I was broke, I did it 20 hours a day. I just, whew. All right, so DUI, we'll just keep it on down low. But um, she got on Facebook. So um, I want you, can you go on Facebook on your phone? Yeah. Can you send a direct message on your phone? Yes. Here's the way it goes. My boss is described a position that we're hiring for, and he really... I felt like you fit the description. 
it's called President's Club, ABTF, or an agent. But it's easier to fill a staff position than it is an independent selling position. It's easier because you're paying somebody, right? Um, and it's right here locally, so I'll probably go ahead and try to hire. And we have positions open. So, so my boss said he's looking for something, and it seemed it seemed like it described you if you're open, if you're open to come and meet him. Or we could run an ad for recruiters and ABTF. Or do you want to get the best person she knows out of 300 people? She knows 300 people. I bet you anything. Look at her Facebook. Minimum 300. Do you have any idea how many friends you got? No. Nope. Facebook. Typically 300 for an average person. So that's the best out of 300. That's what that she can think of. Versus all the people that answer ads. You know, you know, your your boy, your uncle texts me, hey, my boy's going to interview. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. But it's just working it. Like my f focus, it's where you're, fo what you focus on, you get. But focus, like I was explaining on the show today, people think they come to the meeting, but they look at the meeting like I'm an average person doing an average talk. They don't like, holy oh, shit, I've never met anybody that's got two jets. That's what they should be saying. But better yet, he helped Davies get where he is. You with me? Like, like if, but you gotta, you gotta go like, you gotta build the meeting up. Like you gotta build it up. Does that make sense? So you focus. So when I focus on driving depth, I focus on driving depth. I'm thinking about it. All right, so Miriam, do we have another person yet? We need a backup in case she don't work out. I have a guy. I got a guy. Music to my ears, I got a guy. Same text. Well, let's see who he is. We might get him. But I'm not sure if he's in. Did that girl go ahead and graduate, Elon? Uh, yes, she did. That's, that's good. So that's the first thing I would say is like, hey, congratulations on getting through Elon. No, it wasn't an easy battle. I know you struggled with that, and that's good. If you didn't struggle, you should have struggled. But, you know, and she's going to go like, yeah, it was. You know what I mean? Good compliment to a person who lost a scholarship and still fought through. Thinking ahead. Who's the guy? His name is Josh, but I cannot find him. I'm not sure if he deleted his social media. I'm starting to like him. <laughs> <laughs> it's like old times, ain't it? Mm -hmm. But that's how I did it. It's basics and working. People are waiting around. They're waiting for stuff to happen. Wait on you. Wait on you keeps you down. Wait keeps you down. You with me? Mm -hmm. That's why I got two hands on my watch. One is inscribed now and the other one is right now because wait on you will hold you down. So we got Josh. She's trying to find him. Do you have his phone number in there? No, I do not. Mm. Um, I have someone, his name is Justin, he works in car, a car dealership. Around here? I'm not sure if it's here or where he moved, but he recently got engaged. You remember when you said, or Robbie said, if you teach them how to get one name, they'll eventually bring two and three. When she couldn't come up with her best, I asked drug dealers or drug addicts or stupid or worthless people, and she's a lot of them. I said, well, then just name me one. And then she went, wait, I got them one. So does that make, now I got three. And then I just keep working with her, trying to get her license, getting her through class. You got to get her in class, right? Uh, I would let her get me in class. Mm -hmm. Getting people in class is not a high priority. I mean, it is, but it's getting them to say yes. Does that make sense? So you'll delegate. The oh, I'll delegate anything stuff. I can besides. The deal, the deal I'll even deal. tell her, don't you mess this up with her. Be nice. Do me. While you're getting her contracted. 
And then, hey, if she's getting her contract and say, hey, we've got a whole list, 12 more people, I'll be like, so if anything she does like that that moves, kicks the can down the road, mm -hmm. anything that kicks the can down, anything that moves along, I'll be like, good job, why are you contracting, you're doing that. If she comes back, and guess what, me and her are going out to dinner Friday night, but why? I would, I would go, why? Get her nor. Oh, God. No. Don't go to dinner with her. Tell her you can't. Tell her you forgot you had something else. Why? Just tell her, just don't do it. Okay? She ain't even signed him in class. We're going down to dinner with her. Oh, well, y'all might go out to dinner together already, though, right? Yeah. Oh, well, then it'll be okay. But, like, if she was brand new, you see what I'm saying? I'd be like, where's the reward system? She's not through class. She ain't sold nothing. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going out to dinner. Now, if we're going out to dinner and we invite her, cool. That makes sense. You don't want to be too familiar, too close, because then we're going to get contempt too quick. You don't want to give away your dinner time. You know, let me, let me get this straight. You sold one policy this week. You got no recruits, and you're going to dinner with her. You see what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what are you doing? You need to be working. Now, you say, well, you, would you talk to her like that? Maybe one time, and she, she takes it well, but next time I'll be nice and not say anything. But then I'll be her, like, I'll probably go talk to her, like, don't go out dinner with her. We're going we're gonna to build a business Friday night. We're going to be putting in width. We're going to be booking appointments. We're going to be making money. Tick tock. Does that make sense? And then she says, no, we're not. I'm like, all right. Come here. <laughs> I go with. You know what I mean? It's like this. When, you're going, when a root's going down and it runs into a rock, it goes like that until it smells blood, and then it goes down again. Does that make sense? So I'm going down rapidly as I can, but when I run into rock, I'll go over here. And while I go over here, she might edge over here and go down. You see what I'm I mean, you're going down until you hit a block, and then you go over and you go down again. More questions? This is very helpful. I mean, dude, think about this. I've known Chad for years. You're the first referral he's given me. Remember how I tried to get you when you're selling lights? Yeah. And, I, and I, the only reason I didn't keep pursuing it because out of respect for Chad. But if you'd have called me, I'd have pursued it probably. But I would have. I know. But I would have probably called him back and said, hey, bro, you, your man's trying to call me. I mean, I want him, but you know. Because, I mean, I respect Chad. I'd do anything for Chad. You know what I mean? But. But I ain't forgot. Like when he said who you were, I said, damn right. You know what I mean? Just like if it went back to like Fred or Lovey or what was his name? Kyle, Kevin, Kevin. You know, he's, I like him he's, and he's young. You know, because I was like, I was like, damn, was he already 27 or was he like 23? You know what I mean? And, and he told me, I was like, oh, good, so he's still young. I mean, just get him. So if you start working on when they're 19, as long as you get them before they're 27 or 28, you know what I'm saying? They're formative years, I call it, you know? I don't think that's a real word, but yeah. does that make sense, though? Yeah. Does this help? Yeah. It's extremely helpful. Thank you for jumping on. All right. Sorry for talking about hockey. Sorry. <laughs> right in the middle of a recruiting seminar. <laughs> get these people in here. Come get them, come see them. But that, now I'm delegating her to come get them come in, in here. Mm -hmm. They're good friends of hers. Because she you really. You delegate her to get her yeah. friends to you. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Or I might give it to my presence club guy and say, you help her make sure she gets them in here. Let's interview them. All right. Both of them. And then we wrap up the rising tide. Thank you all for jumping on. Appreciate it. We'll see you next week. <laughs>